stand for the playing of the national anthem. Honorable Robert Morgan, MP, Minister of State in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director, Program Planning and Management, Public Sector Transformation and Modernization, Office of the Cabinet. Mr. Dwayne Cargill, Principal Director, Acting Information Division in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Mrs. Claudette Thomas, Government Archivist, Jamaica Archives and Records Department. Ms. Beverly Lashley, National Librarian, Head of Institution with Responsibility for the Jamaica National Information Network. Members of the Executive Management Team at the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. RIM practitioners across all ministries, departments, agencies, and the wider Jamaica. Other distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all our participants on the Zoom platform, I wish you all a very warm welcome. My name is Anita Bailey, Community Relations Education Officer in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. It gives me pleasure to welcome you to the official media launch for the Records and Information Management Month Activities 2021. 2021. This year, with the mass exodus of many businesses and government services to the online space, we have decided to do our RIM, our RIM month launch a little differently and certainly in keeping with what obtains. Each year, records and information management professionals across the world promote records-related events across the public sector during the month of April. This year, the Jamaica Archives and Records Department, in association with the Government Records and Information Management Network, will commemorate Records and Information Management Month activities under the theme, Managing Records and Information for Posterity, Transparent, Accountable, and Inclusive. Jamaica joins with the international community in not only celebrating RIM Month, but concretizing the importance of records and information management, as well as information governance. Indeed, a robust RIM system is critical to effective governance. Ladies and gentlemen, I take the opportunity now to, bring, to invite to bring greetings to us Miss Beverly Lashley, National Librarian, Head of Institution with Responsibility for the Jamaica National Information Network to bring greetings to us. Good afternoon. The National Library of Jamaica supports the call of the Jamaica Archives and Records Department, JARD, in celebration of Records and Information Management Month 2021. The theme, Managing Records for Posterity, Transparent, Accountable and Inclusive connects them with the mandates of the National Library of Jamaica as daily we engage in the business of process improvement for posterity. 
As we navigate what is called the new norm driven by COVID-19, we have indeed shifted gears but continue to remain transparent, accountable and inclusive. Jared's position to embed a culture of records and information management across the government of Jamaica agencies and departments has emphasized our need to rescope information as an asset where such value becomes an intangible piece for critical decision making which ultimately propels a legacy that builds our history and heritage beyond the boundaries of retrospection. Through the Jamaica Library and Information Network, JAMLIN, at the National Library of Jamaica, we are committed to continued collaboration with JARD and will also extend our reach to advance the competitiveness of records. The diversity and dynamic space in which we now operate has delimited and redefined what are records vice additional media. The legal and regulatory environment have also added shape to this course, not only focusing on fiduciary responsibilities, but also interconnecting that of privacy, property rights and evidence. We are charting deep waters and those who are listening on today may be converted to which I am speaking. And as such, we need to deliver a message for advocacy and change, to safeguard the treasures and to embed a winning culture. Nonetheless, we are well posed and transformation is imminent. At the National Library of Jamaica, we are pleased and appreciative of this moment. We therefore extend greetings and wish for a successful Records and Information Month. I thank you. Thank you so very much. And that was Miss Beverly Lashley, National Librarian with responsibility for the Jamaica National Information Network. Thank you so very much for your warm greetings. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to take the opportunity to say thank you to, I think we are trending towards a little over 100 participants on the Zoom platform this morning. Like I said before, we are in fact working with our new normal. And some people said they don't want to hear about the new normal. But it is who we are and what we are doing now. So we want to say thank Thank you so very much for joining us. We invite to bring greetings now Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director, Program Planning and Management from the Office of the Cabinet. Robert Nesta Morgan. Minister in the Ministry of Education, Youth and information, Miss Beverly Lashley, National Librarian, moderator, Miss Anita Bailey, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First, let me say how pleased I am to be participating in today's event, which recognizes the importance of records and information management, as you would refer to it as uh, RIM. The occasion is both a personal and professional delight as I'm fully aware of the importance of RIM to our global competitiveness, hence the role of the Cabinet Office through the Public Sector Transformation and Modernization Division, PSTMD. RIM Month, which is celebrated annually across the globe, serves as an opportunity to highlight the impact that proper record and information management has on businesses, individuals, organizations and the society as a whole as we celebrate rain month this year under the theme managing records and information for prosperity transparent accountable and inclusive i think we can all agree that 2020 was not the year we had anticipated and to a large extent 2021 seems to be moving along the same trajectory the challenges being experienced with the pandemic presents opportunities for all to explore new approaches 
of records preservation and to advance the digitization process. With the COVID-19 pandemic and the work from home measures, a number of ministries, departments and agencies have developed new guidelines for records management to facilitate employees working remotely. Now more than ever, organizations must have an effective records management program in place as the creation of infinite amount of information continues to increase and the regulatory laws evolve, the need for records management becomes only more important. The team at the Cabinet Office through the PSTMD in collaboration with various MDs has been contributing to the national outcome of having Jamaica become a technology-enabled society. Digital availability of our records is imperative and indeed a precursor to attaining this goal. Recognizing this, we are partnering with the Ministry, that's the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, to transform JARD, that's the Jamaica Archives and Records Department, to ensure that there is improved operational mo modalities by standardizing and securing our record and information system. The PSTMD is extremely pleased that more than 35 government entities, that's the ministries, departments and agencies, have begun implementing aspects of the RIM policy, which seeks to achieve, among other things, accessible, efficient and effective service delivery that facilitates the citizenry. Data sharing across MDAs, ease of doing business, and the, the attraction of investments ultimately. We commend these entities and, commend and continue to work along with numerous government MDAs towards the implementation of the policy. Ladies and gentlemen, we must realize that the RIM process will shape our way of life as we move further into the digital era. The PSTMD, along with our counterparts, have done a lot of work and much more remains to be done. As we celebrate this RIM month, I hope that the RIM professionals will further um, be energized and encouraged for the task that lie ahead. I wish for us all a rewarding and engaging RIM month. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director, Program Planning and Management from the Office of the Cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, to provide us with an overview of the RIM program and the RIM Wednesdays events for April 2021, we invite Mrs. Claudette Thomas. And as you would recall from before, Mrs. Thomas is the government archivist in the Jamaica Archives and Records Department. You can make her welcome by using the, the clap hand or the hand clapping feature in on the Zoom platform. And of course, the Zoom platform is also interactive and open for you to share your comments about today's activities. Please welcome Mrs. Claudette Thomas. Thank you, Miss, Miss Bailey. Anita, it is a pleasure for us to be here. So I'd like to recognize Miss Anita Bailey, moderator um, and communications relations officer at the Ministry of Education, the Honorable Robert Morgan, MP, Minister of State of the Ministry of Information, Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director um, of the Cabinet Office, Mr. Dwayne Cargill, Acting Principal Director of the Information Division within the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Ms. Beverly Lashley, National Librarian, members of the Executive of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, 
RIM practitioners of all ministries, departments, and agencies, and those of the wider Jamaica, good morning. I'd like to join our earlier presenters to wish for you a very good sit-in today. And as we recognize records and information management practitioners and all the events and activities which will be showcased during this month, I trust and hope that we would have learned something and that we'll be willing to come on board and give that support. So the government records and information management program is that component of the integrated information and communication technologies com um, program. It is an important program. Um, component of that program, and it aims to support the advancement of integrated and uh, harmonized government information infrastructure and systems. We seek to speak about the goal of the RIM policy, and that RIM policy provides the guiding principles of the framework for all ministries, departments, and agencies in implementing records and information management in their entities. We seek to promote the accessibility and timely sharing of information within and across government and the private sector while protecting the confidentiality of information. All this comes out of that um, policy as we operate within the international standards of the 15489 documentation and records information management. Now, the aim of all of this is to build a knowledge society. Jamaica is poised to really do business. We're seeking to have that efficiency in doing business, that ease of doing business and efficiency in how we provide service to all of Jamaica. We're seeking to acquire and preserve or documentary heritage, because this speaks to our culture. It tells who we are and how we will seek to live. Also, we seek to encourage research and innovation to build our organization to be digitally um, robust, because digitization is now that demand which comes now with COVID-19. So as we seek to look at the RIM objectives coming out of that policy, we seek to increase adherence across ministries, departments, and agencies to the existing legislation, the Archives um, Act and uh, official regulations, official records regulation to promote the provision um, and the acquisition of appropriate infrastructure which will support RIM, and to promote the guidance regarding the human and material resources necessary to provide this sub service right across government. Now, we know that that policy was um, approved by Cabinet Decision 2518, and the policy strategy to give it a fulsome and robust um, indicators. We have five key result areas, one which speaks to the policy and legislative framework which is to be reviewed, another which speaks to the improvement of organizational structures, human resources, for RIM, and to have the reform of JARD, where we will have a new institution, new building, new national archive with supporting infrastructure, and to promote RIM, that it will conform to international best practices. Finally, we're seeking to capacitate not only JARD, but all ministries, departments, and agencies in implementing records and information management systems. So it doesn't matter if it is the manual or it is the um, automated system. We're seeking to give that support. Now, JARD is that entity which is given the responsibility to carry out these functions. So we, as I related before, we speak to the Act, and we also 
provide guidance to MDAs and seek to support standards. Now, there are some issues. If we would just look back, we are really not where we should be. And so JARD is therefore being modernized. This is the key achievement we're seeking to focus on. Modernize to provide the quality service which will support that strategy for giving this digital support. We are in a new normal, and so we are required to give support in relation to digitization too. So we have a governance framework which speaks to the Archives Advisory Committee and concerns we hope to have that refigured, reconfigured, and to be brought to a council instead of being an archival advisory committee. Okay, we are also looking forward to have that change management. So with the new normal, things have to be done new. We are being asked to work from home or work from different locations. So we are asked now to provide a greater service in a new experience. Our current response, we here at the Ministry of Education are seeking to implement uh, our first digitization program. It will come on later in the month, and that is we're seeking to um, digitize teachers' records so that by the end of this year or within a few months, we will have all teachers' records in a digital format and these should be available right across the board. We've been working with eGov to accomplish all of these. General thing, it is at a cost. Everything costs. And so at the strategic level, the cost is approximately half a billion dollar. And it is going to be running for approximately five years. Our strategy is to accomplish all of this in five years. But we are asking ministries, departments, and agencies to implement RIM. So far, we have had 38 ministries, departments, and agencies who have started to implement RIM between the cost of, say, one to two million dollars. So, two million Jamaican dollars. So, we have started a process, and I'd like to recognize the JAR team members who have been working tirelessly to ensure that we accomplish all of this. And also, the MDAs who have supported the process, who have been given of their best. And so we want to celebrate for this month. We are going to have fun. We're going to be, after this launch, we want to really thank all of you who are now on the platform. Whether you are on the um, Twitter, you are at Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, we are there with you. And so our connections with you at the Twitter, you say at Jamaica Archives. If you are on Instagram, it is at J Archives Jamaica. And if you are on YouTube, you can send in your search on the link Jamaica Archives and Records Department. And Facebook for sure, Jamaica.archives. So if you want to say you are still using the older approach, we can be contacted at 876-922-370526. And that will allow us to interact with you. So for the rest of this month, here are our major activities. We'll have the training of trainers next week. And this training of trainers take place a, um, on our Microsoft team platform on the 21st. So, you know, we are doing things with style, RIM Wednesdays. So this is the first Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we'll have our activity, training of trainers for MDAs. And the other week, Wednesday, April 28th is the biggie. We have our RIM symposium. It's a Caribbean, Caribbean Archives and International Archives and Records Association, that group. So we have that is a Carbica endorsed event. And our RIM magazine, RIMZIN, RIMZIN will be out in the market. You will have access to it online as of tomorrow. So I'd like to thank all of you for your support. Come celebrate with me now and have fun. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.
Thank you very much for that very comprehensive overview of the RIM program and what is promising to be a very exciting RIM Wednesdays and RIM, Se RIM Month celebration. So just to remind you, if you are joining us online outside of the Zoom platform, you may join us uh, on the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information's Facebook page. We're also on YouTube going live at the moment. You can also join the Jamaica Archives page at Jamaica Archives on Twitter, at Archives Jamaica on Instagram, and Jamaica.archives on YouTube. You can also reach out for further information about RIM Month and other um, records and information management services. You can reach out to JARD at 876-922-3705-6. Thank you so very much, uh, Mrs. Claudette Thomas. And Mrs. Thomas is our um, sorry, she's government archivist. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier, before we started our program, you were blessed with wonderful sounds from Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Michael Wilson, violinist, and he's going to be playing for us once more. I believe it's another uh, medley of folk songs, sir. No. He played a medley of folk songs for us earlier, and I completely enjoyed it. I hope all 102 of our Zoom participants also enjoyed it as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together on Zoom, on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are. And welcome to perform for us once more, violinist Mr. Michael Wilson.
you so very much there, Mr. Michael Wilson, our violinist. And uh, Mr. Va Mr. Mr. Violinist, sir, you had the whole production crew in here rocking from side to side, you know. Everybody really enjoyed that beautiful rendition. A fun fact about Mr. Mr. Wilson, though, I know he gave such an exceptional performance, you could never believe that he's self-taught. So I think he deserves a round of applause for that. All of the people out there on, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube, this is the man you need to contact if you need some good music playing at your activities. Thank you so very much, Mr. Wilson, also one of our teachers over at there at Kingsway High School. Your principal know that you come here today, sir? <laughs> you didn't tell your principal, sir. <laughs> Thank you so very much, sir. And... Um, Yes, so we're back, and that was absolutely wonderful. To bring us the keynote address and to declare RIM Month activities launched, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to help me welcome to the podium the Honorable Robert Morgan, Minister for the Information Portfolio in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Put your hands together and make him welcome. As you can see, I've just removed my mask, which means I was wearing it all this time. That is very important, as even though we have distributed a record number of vaccines, we still have challenges with COVID. And it's up to us, as all Jamaicans, to continue working to fight and flatten the curve. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being a part of this media launch for the records and information management. Um, I would like to thank our moderator, the lovely Miss Bailey, um, recognize also Mrs. Claudette Thomas, who is the government archivist from the Jamaica Archives and Records Department, also Miss Beverly Lashley, National Librarian of the National Library of Jamaica. Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director, Office of the Cabinet, Records and Information Practitioners. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone who is listening, all members of the Records and Information Management team, good morning. The Ministry of Education, Youth and Information is pleased to join the Records and Information Management, JARD, the Government and Information Management, GRIM Network, the Library and Information Association, LIAJA, in commemorating this year's Records and Information Management Month. Let us celebrate our RIM practitioners across the public service and join in highlighting the importance of RIM for the effective functioning of government. We acknowledge our regional and inter international partners, including the Caribbean Regional Branch of the International Council of, on Archives, and our counterparts at the Office of the Cabinet and the National Library of Jamaica in celebrating RIM through a series of activities which will be staged in the month of April. From this point on, until the 30th of April, 2021, we'll celebrate the RIM practitioners the contribution made by JARD and its partner institutions for their contribution in, to nation building by ensuring the preservation of national documents for posterity and access, important official documents. By doing so, we recognize RIM practitioners who have provided quality leadership, those in the trenches who organize, secure, and make relevant information accessible during these times and I also want to acknowledge the middle managers who supervise and oversee various RIM processes, people, and products for sound decision making. As we reflect on the theme, managing records and information for posterity, transparent, accountable, and inclusive for RIM month, we must recognize persons from a previous period, such as Mr. Clinton Black, Ms. Elizabeth Williams and Mr. John Ahrens must also recognize, as I said before, our middle managers who continue to run the system 
over time. We must appreciate the role played by Mr. Black, who in the formative years contributed to the genesis of the RIM in the newly independent Jamaica. He oversaw the construction of the first custom-built archival structure that was created in the Caribbean at 27 King Street in Spanish Town in 1962. It's still there, I think. We must applaud those professionals such as Miss Elizabeth Williams, who provided leadership and was one of Mr. Black's mentees, jointly marshalling the drafting and promulgation of the Archive Act in 1982. The Archives Official Regulations Act in, in 1998 as well. And she was also instrumental in facilitating the establishment of the Government Records Center to provide temporary local storage of inactive official records. We must also recognize Mr. John Aarons, who guided Jamaica in taking major steps to establish international standards, and as early as 2005, where, we, where consulta consultations were undertaken at the national level to adopt usage of the ISO 15489 standard which is the Jamaican Standard Specification for Information, Documentation, Record Management, Part 1. We celebrate the work of these institutions and persons whose leadership in recent years continued the work of past rim heroes in the management and preservation of records and information for posterity within the new government of Jamaica RIM policy. We pay homage to the individuals and committees who have been working to implement the government's RIM policy so that we can have more efficient and effective systems of managing our records and information. I want to extend special thanks to the Office of the Cabinet, which continues to, re continues to support the Ministry of Education, Youth, and Information, mainly the Information Division and JARD, to oversee the government RIM program implementation across the public sector. We also recognize the current leadership team of JARD who continue to work tirelessly by giving RIM services to the public sector and the public in general in giving, hand-holding, in developing strategies and tools and the sensitization and training in implementation of RIM systems across ministries, departments, and agencies. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, no, it is a known fact that governments it's a known fact that governments demand there's somebody playing something. My apologies. Somebody's playing something. My apologies. It is a known fact that governments generate large quantities of documents and information which shape our lives and mold these societies in which we live. Such information relates to human, economic, educational, physical, and resources of our country. The information contained in these public records and archives concern every citizen of this nation. They are comprised of planning, communications, decisions, and countless transactions that involve records of every citizen, other governments, and private organizations. Governance requires that all groups in society are given the same opportunity to improve and maintain their well-being. It means giving an open door to all and treating all equitably. RIM practitioners are responsible for ensuring that systems are in place to maintain the integrity of records in their custody from creation to deposition, disposition, irrespective of their media, whether paper, electronic, or audiovisual. It is therefore critical that our records and information are effectively managed to promote accountability and transparency. This well-being of government, our organizations, and citizens depends on it. So, to get started this month and keep it up every month that follows, as ultimately these records deemed to have continuing value will form part of Jamaica's documentary heritage, which are unique, irreplaceable records of government and society. As we celebrate RIM Month, I want to take the opportunity to update you on some of the critical legislative and institutional directives of the ministry with respect to RIM. 
The ministry is currently finalizing a modernization structure for the current JARD that will seek that will see the entity becoming a national archives and records management entity to effectively support ministries, departments, and agencies, as well as providing necessary enforcement to ensure compliance with RIM standards across MDAs. We're also developing proposals that will restructure registries in MDAs to better manage paper and electronic records and ultimately improve the quality of service provided to the Jamaican people. New legislation will also be coming to modernize the current Archives Act and treat with the technological advancements the world has undergone since the passage of the Act in the 1980s. As we commemorate RIM Month this April, the Ministry and JARD are committed to working together with stakeholders to enhance the quality of service provided by the GOJ to our clients. In light of our acknowledgement that the official records of government help also to protect individuals' rights and entitlements, safeguard the public interest, and contribute to the historical record of Jamaica's personal and collective experience, we commit to providing the leadership required to enhance the visibility of RIM across the public sector. And I wish for you a happy RIM month and encourage you to participate in the remaining activities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Honorable Robert Morgan, Minister for the Information Portfolio in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. However, Minister, you're not quite finished yet. We do have a quick presentation to make to you just before you declare RIM Month launched. So I'm going to invite uh, Mrs. Claudette Thomas. My, my good friend here from JARD, Mr... Mr. Dwayne Cargill, and he's the Principal Director acting in the Information Division in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. He will be making a presentation to the Minister of the RIM Month Newsletter. So, Minister, we invite you back for this presentation and then give you the opportunity to declare the month launched. Now, my duty to formally, I feel like the Governor General, to formally declare <laughs> RIM Month launched. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Minister Morgan, practicing for the GG thing, sir. <laughs> All right, so RIM Month is officially launched. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to say to you uh, thank you to all of our participants and all of our social media platforms as well as on Zoom for joining us this morning for the official media launch of the Records and Information Management Month 2021. Remember the theme for this month's activities, managing records and information for posterity, transparency, account sorry, transparent, accountable, and inclusive. Before we go, I just want to remind you of a few critical dates to RIM Month this year. The Trainer of Trainers for MDAs, uh, that is going to be on Microsoft Teams on April 21st, and the RIM Symposium on Wednesday, April 28th, and that is a Carbica sponsored event, sorry, endorsed, Caribca endorsed event, and that will be 
on Wednesday, the 28th of April. Thank you also to all of our participants on today's programs. Miss Beverly Lashley, the National Librarian with responsibility for the Jamaica National Information Network. Mr. Wayne Thompson, Principal Director for, of Program Planning and Management from the Office of the Cabinet. Uh, thank you also to Mr. Michael Wilson, teacher and self-taught violinist from Kingsway High School who blessed us with those wonderful renditions this morning and certainly to Claudette Thomas or government archivist from the Jamaica Archives and Records Department and last but not least our minister the Honorable Robert Morgan for bringing us the keynote address apprising us of the government's thrust towards sustainable records and information management. My name is Anita Bailey, Community Relations Education Officer and your moderator for this morning's activity. It was indeed a pleasure. Have yourselves a wonderful day.